Hi, um, in this video I want to show you the RC805 um, receiver and how you can mod this to have A or B channels on it because most it's only um, sold with E channels. So first, um, this is the case already opened. Um, it's simply to open, I show you this next here. Um, you just need to put a screwdriver in at the point when it, which I marked with the red arrow. Um, go along this red line. On the top you see a little, um, little um, nose that fits on the ground. Just put a screwdriver in it and wiggle it open soft and easy. So don't use too much force, otherwise you will um, destroy something. But it's easy to open in my case. After you have opened it, um, you have to um, search here for the context. I will show you this later. Um, you just what you have to do is solder one of these two points. Um, I'll show you next. So when you solder the first point, you get the B band. When you solder both points, you get the A band. If you put some dip switches on the both of the points, you can switch between E, B and A band, but in this case and what I've done was only solder the point, the first point to get um, the B channels. So here is the solder point you have to solder for, to get the B channels, so just um, solder a bridge there, so use a little piece of um, wire or just use um, solder to make a bridge between these two points. Um, after you solder these two points, you have the B channels getting active, um, otherwise you can uh, use a dip switch and make it switchable. And yeah, the next point, you can solder this point, the second point too. If you solder this, both these points, you're getting the A channel, which is in the US, United States, so I'm here in Switzerland. We also use the A and B channels, I think in the USA it's only A channels, so solder is both of these points and you have a RC805 with B channel or A channel or both, whenever you make it switchable by tape switch. Yeah, thank you and have a nice day, bye.